everyone, I'm Kevin Jory with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saints. Ministry of any kind is still ministry, whether you are out in the field serving those in need or serving those who are doing the service. Blessed Paolo Manna knew both sides, and although he didn't choose how he would minister to those he served, he never stopped ministering throughout his life. Paolo was born the fifth of six children to an Italian family in the year 1872. He studied philosophy at the Gregorian University in Rome and later joined the Theology Seminary of the Institute for Foreign Missions in Milan. In May of 1894, he was officially ordained a priest. Setting sail for his new work as a missionary priest in 1895, Father Paolo was off to serve the people of Eastern Burma, modern-day Myanmar. Due to his poor health, however, Father Paolo had to return home to Italy just 12 years later. Although his chance to serve the poor directly became less of a reality, it didn't hold him back from encouraging other clergy and lay missionaries through his writings and preaching. He quickly became the director of Le Missioni Caralice in 1909, a popular printed journal, and in 1914, he founded his own publication of Propaganda Missionaria that went on to become a very successful publication. He then founded the organization Missionary Union of the Clergy in 1916, a society based on the passion for spreading the missionary zeal throughout the faithful. He founded a missionary group in 1919 for the youth and even founded the Sacred Heart Seminary in Caserta, Italy to foster missionary vocations in Southern Italy. To say this man had a zeal for mission work and knowing how to spread it was a total understatement. And yet he continued moving forward on the unintentional journey God was leading him on. Father Paolo continued to rise to the needs of mission life. He became the superior general for the Institute of Foreign Missions in Milan. Because of the good work he was doing, in 1926, Pope Pius XI joined forces with the Missionary Seminary of Rome to create a pontifical institute for foreign missions. Father Paolo continued working from 1934 to 1936 this time developing a new order yet again, the Missionary Sisters of the Immaculate, a branch off of the Pontifical Institute. He continued working for the Missionary Union of the Clergy and in the southern province of his Foreign Missions Institute, and continued writing and publishing his words of affirmation for the work of the foreign and domestic missionaries. Although Father Paolo had been bound to his desk due to his sickness, couldn't stop the zealous man from sharing his heart for mission work. He worked until his final days and died on this day in 1952. Blessed Paolo saw his life so differently in his youth, desiring to share his love for missionary work with the world. But what took humility was accepting the limitations placed in front of him due to his health. What could have easily discouraged him and left him feeling crippled throughout his entire life gave Blessed Paolo the opportunity to help others make a difference for the greater glory of God. Let us not think of our own contributions as less important than those physically serving. God uses each of our gifts to become our greatest strengths, both as missionaries who serve and missionaries who serve those who are serving. Blessed Paolo Manna, pray for us.